Hi, I am PG and I have been flying for 16 or 17 years and I've also been working as a flight instructor for quite a few years. So is it pitch for airspeed and power for altitude or is it pitch for altitude and power for airspeed? Well, let's just see how you actually change the airspeed when flying with an airplane. Let's say we are in the base. And in the base we are descending, but we are flying too fast. So the first thing you do is you have to reduce the power. But the moment you reduce the power, your airplane will start to slow down. And the airflow over your wing will also start to slow down. Your wing has less lift and your airplane will start to descend steeper. And you have to stop that descent by pitching a tiny bit up. Because the moment your airplane starts to descend steeper, then of course your airspeed is not going to decrease. I want to slow down, so I decrease the power, the nose falls down, and I pitch a bit up. Now, if you want to increase the airspeed, you have to increase the power. But the moment that you increase the power, then the airflow over your wing will increase, and your airplane will start to pitch up. And you have to stop that airplane pitching up by moving the stick forward. So this whole question about pitch for airspeed or pitch for altitude, it doesn't make any sense. Because if you want to change the airspeed, you first have to change the power. But if you're going to change the power, then you have to change the pitch of the airplane a split, a split second later. So you do both things more or less at the same time. And this whole thing about pitch for airspeed can also be very dangerous. To give you an example. I was flying with a student and we were flying with a series. So we're cruising at around 150 knots and that student needed to slow down from 150 knots to 90 knots and maintain 2000 feet. But he has learned that he has to control the airspeed with the pitch and control the altitude with the throttle. So he started to pitch up to slow down. But of course, the moment that you start to pitch up, especially when you are flying 150 knots, you are going to climb. So he climbed to 1000 to 2,400 to 2,500 feet. He saw that he was way too high, so he put the throttle on idle. So now we are pitching up with the throttle on idle. This is how I stall my airplane. So if you have a pilot that flies like this, this can be very dangerous, especially in the base and the final. And that pilot will never have very good control over his airspeed. For example, if I'm going to fly 60 knots in the final, then I'm going to fly 60 knots in the final, not 61, not 59, exactly 60. And I can fly 60 knots in the final without much effort because I know how to fly with an airplane. 